Hey viewers, hey subscribers, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome to my returning subscribers. Welcome back, you guys. This is a general collective reading, so please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? So let's get into the messages and see what spirit wants y'all to know. Let's get into it, baby. All right, so... Okay, lovelies, so we are going to get into some situations, messages from my situations oracle deck over at Intuitive Envisions 1111, and I will tag her in my description box below the video so you guys can go over and check out her Etsy shop. She has a lot of beautiful decks, okay? And I'm also going to go in with the tarot. I'm going to use the tarot to um, give an idea as to what you guys may be dealing with during this micro retrograde in regards to your current love life and relationships. So if the messages resonate, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Hmm. Let me move this out of the way. It's in the way. Okay. Okay, Spirit, what is the overall energy for my viewers and subscribers um, in regards to love right now? What happened in the past, Spirit? Give me one card for the past, please. We have the Eight of Wands. There may have been active communication between you and your person or the person that's on your mind if you're watching this video. Um, there actually may have been forward movement and action for some of you guys in the past. Spirit, what's the current energy for my viewers and subscribers watching this reading? Current energy, please, Spirit. Page of Swords. Curious. There could be some gossip going on because the Page of Swords could be gossip as well in a negative light um, about this person. Somebody may have told you something about this person that you didn't know about. There you go. So y'all can see the cards, right? So somebody may have told you something about this person that you didn't really know about. What else, Spirit? Going forward, Spirit says, <laughs> secrets being revealed. Whatever was done in the dark being brought to light. And I love that for y'all. I really do. I love that for y'all. So let's get into my Oracle messages here. Let's get into my situations messages here for y'all let's get into it also with that moon card some of you guys may feel a little bit hesitant to even move forward in this relationship with this person or even entertain this person if they reach out to you if you guys are not currently speaking but if you're currently together spirit says be aware there could be some inner work that needs to be done also with the moon card because the moon is indicative of shadow work and possibly secrets 
things that you don't know about. So finding out some things, and this is Mercury retrograde, so this is the time for shit to hit the fan. So just expect the unexpected, okay? Y'all, this is giving messy. <laughs> I see love affair. And, you know, I'm not one of them type of readers that really like to do the whole karmic thing. But it's giving karmic. It's definitely giving karmic, especially with this love affair card that just popped out. Thank you, Spirit, for confirmation. <laughs> so as I stated earlier, you guys, we have the Eight of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Moon. But as we dig a little bit deeper to put the sauce on the meat from this uh, situation's oracle, we have searching online, looking for information or records, right? Bounty hunter, chaser, hot pursuit. So this person may have uh, been in hot pursuit when you two first came together, Um this person was wanting something with no strings attached is what I'm hearing when I see this card of entrapment, no strings attached. Um, maybe this started out as a situation ship and maybe you caught feelings for this person. For some of you guys that will not resonate with everyone. So take only what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Okay. So then we have come together reconciliation. So maybe you guys cut it off because I have trash here. Right, I have trash, discarding, throwing it out. Maybe you blocked this person's number, deleted it, decided to just kind of go no contact. Um, but then their anxiety started to get the best of them, um, started weighing them down with grip here. And now this person wants to plan to meet up. They want to plan to come together. They want to plan to reconcile. So let me continue to pull some other cards so we can see what other message spirit has for you guys. Oh my goodness. Drama queen. Drama queen or king. Take it how it resonates. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Like my two year old nephew always says, oh no. Like I said, messy, very messy. So I'm going to pull these cards up a little bit so y'all can see them a little bit better. Mm. Mm. So drama queen, this person likes drama. This person likes dysfunction. This person is married. 
this person is definitely married and if this resonates with your story your situation leave a comment down below this video but this person is married you see commitment here right long-term relationship either they're married or in a long-term relationship with someone that they have children with which is why entrapment is here this person may feel stuck in that relationship with this person um and this person may have discarded where we have trash here may have discarded this connection here in order to focus on their connection with you because they feel like they're at home you feel like home to them you feel like the person that they're supposed to be with you guys have history which is why they may have hit you up text you during this retrograde or called you saying they want to you know they want to clear some things up with you they want to um get back in good grace your good graces right don't be in denial of the truth here because we have denial here spirit says not facing the truth being irrational and not using logic or reasoning right otherwise you'll end up settling and ag agreeing to settling with someone simply because you have history with them um this person is lying to you and telling you that they only have eyes for you when they're in a whole ass committed relationship with somebody else and they possibly have children or a family with this person so Run a background check, Spirit said. Run a background check, gather information, get the facts before you get too far deep into this situation and find out some things that you did not know with the moon, okay? It's messy. It's messy. This person is actually committed to someone else. This person was, they had you as a side person, love affair. I don't know if you found out about this. If you didn't find out, if you didn't know, now you know. Um... But I highly recommend doing a background check. Doing a background check the next time, if not this time, the next time around, do a background check so you know what you're dealing with. A lot of, especially men, I'm going to say, are on the internet looking for, they're married men and they're looking for play, okay? Be careful if you're a single woman and you're dating because you really want to find out the truth. You don't want to get played. So um, even if this was a situation ship between you and this person and you guys decided to go separate ways and then this person comes back around because we have history this means that you guys have been in a connection together before this person is going to want to come back around to you guarantee best rest assured in the next few weeks as we're coming out of retrograde this person is going to want to reach out to you they want to talk to you they feel like you're their person we have so made up here you're just like they feel like y'all have a great friendship relationship romantic relationship you don't want to get entrapped you don't want to get your heartstrings caught up with this person you also don't want to possibly end up having a child by someone who's not committed to you they're committed to someone else right so that's been the collective reading for today in regards to love and relationships be careful out there and sending y'all my love if you'd like to book a full on in-depth reading the link to my website will be posted down below in the comment section in the description box feel free to go there and book a full session and until next time love you guys